Hello, this is me, Sam from Group Gaming, and today I'm going to show you the updated plugin installation tutorial of Dynamic Map. Now, uh, Dynamic Map allows you to see a cast graph of your worlds of your Minecraft in real time. So, the best way of showing you this is to actually show you my Dynamic Map on my server. So, here we have a top down view of the Glyphor world. You can see all the players, you can see all their health and uh, whatnot, and what armor they've got on. Uh, we can change the view, so we can choose isometric, for instance, of the surface. So here you can see the big Galipo sign there. Um, you can see the arch and anvil, and you can also talk to the players. So go, okay, uh, they might not respond depending on how you feel. And you can also have multiple worlds. I've only got the Nether and Galipo at the moment, so uh, I'm going to add the Skylands later on. But as you can see, you can, it's a quite a uh, nifty program. See all the different types of worlds, and uh, see all the different players, and it's it's great, uh, very helpful. So I can see where uh, all the towns are in comparison with everything and whatnot, and uh, check out what people are doing, and also talk to them and whatnot. So I'm going to show you how to use and install this. So first of all, we want to download the latest recommended version. I've already done that, and you'll get a. a a zip file with two uh, a jar and a folder in it. You're going to want to drag and drop these into your plugin directory and I'm just going to show you how to configure it. So in the dynamic map directory you have color schemes and web. Uh, don't change these unless you know what you're doing. Um, so these just make the look a bit change and whatnot. Uh, but configuration.txt is what you're interested. Now if it's all messy like this you can download a copy of it. I'll provide a link in the description. But you can copy and paste this into your file. And it just makes it nicer to look at than this mess. Right, so save that. Right, so I'm going to go through the configuration. So the components are basically um, different parts of the dynamic pl plugin so they're a separate feature of the dynamic map and you can enable or disable each one uh, which you like so you can send the health so if you want people to see the health or position of players uh, whether you want to allow the web chat set these are true or false and how long uh, a web chat so people uh, so I have to wait five seconds every time I can chat hide in the web chat IP and such like um, to add more of them Oh, these are just okay. Uh, you can now chat, and these are just all the different components. So, if we go to that, uh, we can see a display whitelist. Set that to true or false. So, the hidden players.txt. So, if uh, you don't want people to be seen on Dynamic Map, you can use a whitelist to uh, show this. Uh, how often the target's rendered. So, every one second it'll get rendered. Uh, these are all the, the render triggers you can use. So, in my previous tutorial, people were saying, "Oh, there's like a massive black, uh, black black box or not." This is because the map hasn't rendered yet. Now, I'll show you how to use some commands later on how to do a full render. But uh, you can also have some triggers. Now, the default are block place and block break. So, whenever you block, uh, place a block, or break a block, uh, it will update the map. But you can also change uh, player join, player move, and chunk loaded. So those are all available. Uh, these are where your tiles paste and loaded don't have to bother with that. Uh, the web server bind address. Um, so just you have that default. But web server port, no, my port is 1337. You can change that to wherever where you want. But you have to ensure that this port is uh, forwarded to allow external users to be able to view the map. So alternatively, if you don't want people to use the map, you could use uh, an unopened port. So that's a disable the web server, true or false, advances only. Uh, you can show the players' faces in the menu, so let's set that to true or false. But what we're interested in is these templates. So the template of. Oh, how do I explain this? So the template basically defines how a world. Is so 
for instance there are three templates there is the normal template this is just from normal worlds there is a nether template this is for obviously nether worlds and there is a skyland world template for the skyland world so for each world you can define a template for so we, these are the list of worlds you can have so if we look down here we haven't got a single world on so I'm going to show you how to add a world so to add a world we can simply do hyphen space name colon and then the world name so world and that's that's it that's it that's all you have to do to add a world but you can also change the um, how do I, how do I, oh, sorry change the name of it whether it's enabled or not uh, where it can be located in the center of it and such like and all this is commentated here but I'm just going to go over some basic ones so the title for instance is another basic one and you do that with the title colon and then the name of it so I don't know Sam's awesome world and we want a space there so that will just be lined up uh, colon denotes the start of it and then anything below it is to do with that world uh, you can set enabled true or false and what that's like um, so you can also set the template for it this is very important when doing like sky skyland for instance you can do that by doing template colon and then the template you want to use so either skylands nether or normal and you can create your own templates uh, just by copying uh, one of the pre-existing one and modifying it is the easiest way to do it and then instead of using Skylands for instance we can use a different tile renderer so I don't know we'll just have it normal for now and save that so now we're going to go inside the game it should all load up correctly uh, we'll have a look on the website so localhost uh, 8 Three, two, one. I think it was. No, eight, one, two, three. And there we are. This is on my local host. And you can see big black screen with no players on, but it has Sam's awesome world as a title there, with the normal template of surface and uh, cave. We also talk to it. So happy face and such like. So now that you can see the dynamic web chat there. Uh, it's a black screen so how do we render it so let's go in game let's go in game and we can do local host then, yeah. apologies let me just fix this I have to my ports don't open so I have to use a mark you to host servers and whatnot so Load that up again. Should be able to log in successfully. And now, if we look on the dynamic map, you'll see me. Yay! But this won't get updated yet until I destroy a block, for instance. And you should see chunk snapshot support enabled as soon as a block is destroyed. And there you are. You can see that now that chunk I'm in has been loaded by the thing. So, whether or not it will show you the isometric as well and also the K version of that whole chunk that I'm in and if I was to walk away and round then it would load that chunk um, for instance by placing blocks but I'm lazy and I can't be willing to place blocks around how do I do it? well the easiest way is to do dynamic map render and that will render the one tile of the map where I'm standing or I can do full render now this is what I tend to do pretty much all the time and this will, as you can see in the background if you notice that the entire world has been rendered successfully as you can see, right, look, lava it looks like lava anyway but as you can see it renders the entire thing even when I'm not standing in it which is a great help 
especially when uh, you've got a pre-existing server and you want the map to be quick just do full render and it'll do it we can also hide players so dynamic map hide Oops, found dynamic map. Uh, now I'm not I'm hidden on dynamic map so where am I gone uh, you can't see me anymore I can also show myself as well dynamic map show so now I'm visible again on dynamic map there I am again I can also hide and unhide other players by doing dynamic map hide and then the player name so torrent uh, so now torrent is hidden on dynamic map and then I can do show him again by doing dynamic map show torrent and that concludes all the no it doesn't no it does not now these are these all have permission nodes to do render is dynamic ren dot render to show yourself is dynamic map dot show dot self to toggle the show of others dynamic dot show dot others and that's the same for hide and hide uh, the dynamic map full render is dynamic map dot full render and finally dynamic map reload the last command which uses the dynamic map permission node uh, dynamic map dot reload and the command is dynamic map space reload Ugh, so many dynamic maps and there we are, reloaded dynamic map, and you just see successfully on the configuration well, configuration console that it's been loaded up successfully and it's loaded all the components and whatnot. So, was a great. I don't know why I said that. But anyway, that concludes today's tutorial. Uh, if you have any problems, uh, I'm pretty sure people on the thread will help you. Uh, hopefully, I've gone over the majority of what's going on so I hope you find it helpful so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe this is me Sam Gover Ruby Gaming signing out